to the number one podcast in the world. Yeah, Lab Rats is, well, is it? Well, maybe we're not. Who's, who's measuring that? Uh, the Andy Walker Index of Podcast Fun. Yeah, that's right. That's my name, Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And this is Lab Rats. You know, your favorite technology podcast that sometimes funny and has cats and... Yes, sleeping cats, which apparently you find more interesting than you find us. <laughs> It's the most popular topic of conversation on the Lab Rats forum. Where's Biff? He hasn't been on recently. <laughs> it's like, you guys don't even remember my name half the time, and you remember Biff. Who are you? <laughs> See? I'm Boo. Today on the show, speaking of laugh riots, yes. we're going to cover Windows Vista and its performance. Yeah, this is stand-up <laughs> material right here. <laughs> yeah, no, new uh, performance tools inside of Windows Vista, the new operating system from Microsoft, which was recently released. Right. So let's get to that, but first, a message from our sponsor. This is a llama. It carries luggage. This is a burrito. It is lunch. This is Camtasia Studio 4. It makes screencasts. Now answer our trivia question. What screencasting tool is not woolly or made of beans? I'll be back at the end of the show with the answer. You know what we need is a performance booster for the cats. Yeah. You know, you know these, some... these guys eat way too many treats. Yeah, and then they sit and they crash. Right. And they just, anyway. Oh, well. Well, if you can't tweak your cat, then maybe you can tweak your Windows Vista machine. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started, shall we? Oh, Are you excited? Right. Yeah, I'm waiting for the jokes. This is supposed to be funny, right? Well, it is This is funny. what I signed up for today. <laughs> all right, Windows Vista, Laugh Riot. So uh, let's get started by, uh, first of all, there's a brand new Windows Experience Index built into Windows Vista. Following me so far? And so <laughs> Was that one of the jokes? That was one of the jokes. Okay, let's go. And I click, and I click on uh, the, the round thing, which is like now the Start button. Sometimes people call it the Windows button now, because it it's no longer says Start on it. Uh, and I'm going to type Performance. Perform. Actually, no, I'm going to start with the system applet here. System. System. And, you know, so before system, you know, in XP contained, you know, your device manager, and it still does for, to XP. But one of the cool things now is it actually has something called the Windows Experience Index. Essentially, it's Microsoft's effort to say, you know, how good is the hardware inside of this machine? Does it measure up to what Vista needs mm -hmm. to run properly? So as you can see here, uh, I'm going to click on uh, Windows Index, Experience Index, and I'm going to kind of get a, a rating of each key component that actually gives you your computer experience. So it tells me uh, what the base score is for the processor, uh, the, the RAM, of course, which where all, everything kind of gets done on a machine, the graphics, and it actually breaks it out gaming graphics separately as well as uh, you know, your primary hard disk and how quickly that moves data. Your uh, graphics uh, index looks pretty high. My graphics, so you know, well, I'm just running a, I'm an NVIDIA card on this machine mm -hmm. with, uh, I think, 256 megs of video RAM. Okay. So, of What's, course, it's going to rate very high. What are these scores out of? They're not really out of anything. They're kind of out of, well, you know, one would be really bad and mm -hmm. five would be really good. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm wondering, 5.9, that's pretty good. I'm wondering, it, that would be better if this was like a skating score that went up to six. <laughs> But not so good if it goes up to 10. Well, it does say, what do these numbers mean? And I think it probably says, uh, we don't know. But anyway. Mm, that's the one thing I like about Windows Vista, by the way, is it has all these little links that b take you right to the help things that really explain these things, what which was yeah. lacking before. That's absolutely right. Now, I mean, when it comes down to this uh, index, all you want to do is actually look at the lowest uh, number, because that's telling you what the bottleneck is inside of your system. So in, particular, in my case here, the, uh, it's saying that my RAM is kind of holding the system back. More RAM. You need more RAM. So in this I have machine. a gig of RAM in this machine, but if I added a second uh, second gig, mm -hmm. I'd probably get a better performance out of the machine. So it's a real quick snapshot to see how your hardware is doing with Vista. Now I want to show you one other, well, a couple other things in here. One of them is really really cool. I'm going to click on Advanced Tools here, and uh, I'm going to get on all kinds of uh, sort of administrator level things. But one of the things that I want to use is the um, is generate a system health report. So I'm going to click mm -hmm. on that. And so if your system is flaking out and you're not 100 percent sure why. This is where you would go? This, yeah, this will actually show you where the system is having problems. It'll show you what plug and play devices have perhaps failed, where the drivers mm -hmm. are missing, uh, what's, what applications have crashed recently, mm -hmm. uh, and perhaps what applications are cra crashing the most frequently. And I've got to say that inside of Windows Vista here, this thing just like fired up and it it's is. like shaking the desk now. Woo! And it's actually waking up Biff. Sorry, Biff. 
Um, so what's it doing? It's actually doing a whole system um, check. It's looking at the hard drive and the CPU and that sort of thing and trying to figure out what's going wrong with this system, oh. if anything at all. And so it probably just spun up the uh, CD or something like that? Yeah, exactly. Or something along oh, there, those lines. it's good now. So it's gonna, in a second, when, when, once it's finished collecting data, it's going to actually give us a report and show us what's going on in this system, which is really useful, especially if you're suffering from, say, blue screens, uh, or you've got an application that's crashing on a regular basis. Do you still get blue screens in Vista? Occasionally. Occasionally. But it's actually it's a lot better. Instead, these days, what happens is mm -hmm. when an application crashes, uh, you get what I call the windows, uh, the white window of death. Mm -hmm. So an application kind of freezes and it goes all white and then it sort of says this application has crashed and it doesn't take the system down with it. You know, I actually saw once um, the computer restarted and it came up with an error screen and it said um, blue screen dot exe or something like that. So the blue screen crashed the yeah. blue screen? Yeah, it, it, it calls it a blue screen rather than actually flashing blue. Really? I actually have that in my Flickr, so I'll just put it up here. Oh, that's very cool. That's very cool. Okay. So this is generating a report right now. We'll let it do it, uh, do, do that. But I wanted to show you one other thing. Uh, the it's a reliability um, performance at monitor, mm -hmm. which is and, really kind of handy. Just be, we've talked about this in a previous episode, but uh, you notice that you're just going into the search bar here and just typing the name of uh, yeah. what you want, and it'll automatically start popping up on there. Right. Uh, Vista is full of uh, search bars. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm just typing in what I want. So I could type in, uh, you know, system. And get the system applet, or anything that actually has, has the word right. system in it. Yeah, so you don't have to dig down through a bunch of submenus to find what you want. You can just search for anything on the system, right. which I really like. It's, it's, it's a great way to get around the operating system for sure. Um, so I'm going to click here on the uh, performance monitor, mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, no, the reli reliability monitor. And this is kind of cool because it gives you a series of dates uh, as to, you know, since you've had the system installed, and we'll show you key moments in the history of the machine as to when there was a problem. Ooh, looks like something bad happened. Well, you know, around about uh, a couple of weeks ago, I installed something that caused some major problems on this system. Mm -hmm. And so you're still good right there, I think. Right here, I'm great. And then the next thing that happened was I installed oh, no. Camtasia Studio. our sponsor's uh, software, which they're not going to like, but here's the reality here, is that uh, we uh, installed a version that wasn't Vista compatible. They've since right. come out with a, a version that is. Yeah, I mean, that, that'll happen with any software, no matter how reliable it yeah. is. No, it's not TextMate's fault. In fact, this is one of these issues that everybody's been experienced a lot with on, the, uh, on Vista because mm -hmm. you really need Vista kind of configured software to really run properly on this system. Mm -hmm. So when, if you have a favorite application, you're going to have to go looking for the Vista upgrade to make sure it works on Vista when you get it. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so that's that, and it'll give you an index, a sort of performance index as to how it's, uh, the system is doing uh, mm -hmm. at any given time. And uh, ideally, you want it to sit at 10. Of course, it comes down. You can get crashes or uh, plug and play uh, issues and that sort of thing, driver problems. will actually bring that index down over time. Right, so if you're seeing uh, that you did something on a particular day that caused your reliability uh, to go down, just maybe uninstall that software. Uninstall that software, exactly. Let's I mean, here's a backup. Adobe Reader 8 didn't like that, I think. Let's see. Oh, no, it shows success. success. Something happened on that day, though. Anyway, see, oh, there it is. Failure. Failure. Firefox. So Firefox didn't work very well that day. Right. And well, again, I see. Meeting Manager. Yeah, so. Yeah, you will run across this regularly, even with, I mean, Firefox, the latest version of it, is a little bit flaky anyways. Right. So, anyway, so there you go. Nice. So it's a really handy snapshot of the system to show you how the system has, is doing right now, how it's performing, and it'll give you some hints as to what's causing perhaps the system instability uh, or something along those lines. All right. So there you go. So let's That's, see what that report says. Let's go back to our report here. And... So it gives us a full diagnostic report and kind of says that, you know, m for the most part, the system is fine at the moment, except there's been some hardware and device driver check problems. Error, error, device drivers are not installed. And it doesn't give you an enormous amount of really useful information. Uh, however, what it does do is... Um, What's the point then if it's not useful? Well, you know, in a snapshot, you can... Um, I'm going to go back to the top here. There, you know, there are little bits and pieces of information. Mm -hmm. You can see, for example, when a, when a device driver is not working properly and that sort of thing. So. Oh, well, it says it's the multimedia audio controller there. So right. if you know that, you know what the controller is supposed to be on this, you can download it from the motherboard manufacturer or from Dell in this case right. and uh, fix that up. Kind of takes the mystery out of uh, diagnosing uh, Windows Vista. Now, and i got to say, there's one other thing that I want to point to, and really this is uh, something that... Uh, was on XP as well. It's just been enhanced inside of Windows Vista, and that's called MS Config or the System Configuration File. Mm -hmm. So if I click down here again, I'm going to use that handy uh, search thing, MS Config, uh, and open that up. Now this allows you to tweak your uh, startup uh, area 
which of course loads a bunch of mm. caca in there a lot of the time, some helper apps and things like that. So I'm going to yeah. go into the startup tab here. You know, if you don't want these guys to start when the system boots, then you can uncheck them uh, if they look like something that you don't need, for example. And you can also check out the services, what services are running. In this case, I can hide all the Microsoft services I need those, but I can mm -hmm. uncheck maybe some of the other things if they seem to be causing a problem or mm -hmm. slowing the system down. You know, I don't really want QuickTime Player to be in to, to start up when I, when I boot my machine. Right. I don't want Real Player, things like that. Or the iTunes helper. Or the iTunes helper. Right. I don't want any of that stuff running. So that's really handy here. There's a, a new tab called Tools, and it just allows you to access some, uh, some handy administrator tools that until you know, during XP were mm -hmm. actually hi hidden. One of, one of the things I'd really like to do, uh, which I really like, uh, and I don't recommend that you turn this off, but uh, you can disable your user account control, which uh, is the, uh, the security system that stops viruses and yeah. worms from copying like crazy through mm. your system. Every time you try to do something that will reconfigure the system in some way, it'll pop up a warning that says, do you want to do this? Really? Continue or, or cancel. cancel. Right, right. So once you get used to the system, if, you want to, if that mm. drives you crazy, you can actually turn it off here in mm. the Tools tab. So that's basically it. That's uh, my little uh, primer for... Um, for uh, performance and reliability tools inside of uh, Vista. Um, let's take a look at uh, a message from our sponsor. Actually, I want to see something if it runs on this machine as well. There's actually, uh, SysInternals was a, a company that Microsoft bought recently. It has a, a sort of turbocharged version of uh, MS Config. I'd like to see if that runs here too. All right. So let's install that over the break. All right. We'll, we'll look at that when we come back. <laughs> Earlier in the show, we asked you what screencasting product is not woolly or made of beans. Is it A, a llama, B, a burrito, or C, Camtasia Studio 4? The answer is Camtasia Studio 4. Learn more at labrats.techsmith.com. So uh, we just downloaded this application called Autoruns. Auto Runs. Auto Runs. Yeah, and uh, there was a company uh, called SysInternals that uh, released a bunch of uh, really cool little utilities for Windows, and Microsoft said, "Hey, we like those. Let's buy that company." Oh. So they've uh, added. Uh, they haven't added these in, as far as I know, no. into Windows Vista, but you can download this, these for free. And they said this one is called Auto Runs, and uh, it is. Basically, this turbocharged version of MS Config that shows you everything that's running on your system, things that run on login, things that are bundled into Internet Explorer, the services, all of this stuff. So you can see it right here. So you can, much like you do with um, with MS Config, you just don't want it, just uncheck it. There you go. And that uh, works on Vista, as it turns out. It does work on see? Vista. There you go. All right. Let's look at some pictures. All right. So we have Aiden here. Aiden. And... Uh, He's very serious looking young man. He's very serious looking. And uh, you can find out why he's so serious by this next picture, which is his cat. <laughs> cat is demanding attention. Oh my god, that's hilarious. What's the cat's name? Uh, you know what, I don't know. Cat. Cat. Aiden's cat. Aiden's cat. There we go, good. All right, love it. Thank you, Aiden, for uh, sending in your picture. You can uh, send in your pictures to us at... Feedback at labrats.tv. And, uh, you know, you don't have to send a super, a million megs of uh, files. You can send a 100K file, right, Sean? 100K will look fine. No right? raw images? No, no raw, raw images. images. We don't want your 10 mega, megapixel raw image from your camera. I no don't care raw how images. cool your camera is. Uh, no images in the raw. No, no images, images Yeah, in the no, raw none of that kind of raw images you either. I see naked people. No. Unless you're hot. Uh, unless you're hot, then, well. <laughs> Oh my God! Peanut gallery over here again. Once again, there's 27 people in here watching us do this show. There's a reason why we do this by ourselves most of the time. I know. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for another fabulous edition of Lab Rats, the number one podcast uh, on your computer, according to the Andy Walker Podcast Monitoring Agency. That's right. <laughs> I'm Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And we'll see you next time. Andy Walker Monitoring Podcast Agency dot com slash blog. Are you ready?
Okay, we should probably start right off the top. Right off the top? Because I just noticed that it kept like whacking into your... The top of the top, top, top? The very top. All yeah. right, top of the top. Because, yeah, the intro yeah, will be like... Blooper. Do you want me to change sweaters? No, it's fine okay. now. It's just, right. It was just like whacking into your neck. Okay, all right. <coughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry, Beth. I didn't mean to wake you up. Oh, yeah, I gotta retest Andy's sound. Test one, two, one, two. Andy Walker here. LiveRats.tv. And ChunkyRethers.com. Dot you. We should just say, Flash we should blog. just totally promo it up. Be like, we're the number one podcast right. in the world. All right. All right. Mm -hmm.